Oh, hello. Welcome back to another mess. I envision myself as being someone who was not an absolute disaster when I try and do anything. And that's just not realistic or honest. I am a complete disaster with everything that I endeavor to do. Anyway, get this out of the way, out the top. Yes, this is what my hair looks like now. It is going through what I like to refer to as the puberty stage of growing out from a short haircut. People keep telling me that it looks really cute. Thank you, I appreciate that. I hate my hair like this. I cannot wait for it to grow out. I detest this. So thank you, moving on with our lives. <laughs> I am here today to talk about the books that I will be reading in October. It's October 1st. These are the books that I am reading this month. Because I hate myself, I will be attempting to participate in three readathons. There was one readathon, which I heard about at the beginning of September, and there was a second readathon that I heard about mid September. Fine, I can make this work. And then Black Speculative Fiction readathon happened. And I. So then, in the last week of September, I burnt my entire TBR to the ground, started from scratch, and I'm now reading nine books across three readathons. Okay, the readathons that I will be participating in are the Black Speculative Fiction Readathon, hosted by a bunch of awesome creators, the Black Weenathon, which is the first one that I heard about as an October readathon, and the one I've been planning on since the beginning of September, and the last readathon is the Spooktober Readathon, Spooktober Readathon. This one would have been the easiest one to set aside, probably, but I found the prompts and the entire concept really really interesting so I have made it work. <laughs> the first two that I mentioned are pretty straightforward. There are prompts, you read for the prompts, and then Spooktober Readathon is a little different. We'll talk about that when we get there. First book that is on my TBR that I started this morning is A Phoenix First Must Burn, which is by, it's a collection of short stories by a lot of really amazing authors. That book will be covering three prompts for the Speculative Fiction Readathon, as well as just, just those three. <laughs> Next up we have The Ballad of Black Tom. This is another book that I have been super excited about, even longer than anything else, I think, on this TBR. I might be lying about that. This is Cosmic Horror featuring a Black main character written by a Black author. That book will be covering three prompts in the Speculative Fiction Readathon. I didn't say what the prompts were for A Phoenix Must Also Burn. I'll just put the- no, I'm gonna say them. I'm gonna say them. A Phoenix Must Also Burn is covering for the Black Speculative Fiction Readathon, an LGBT plus main character, an author who is not from North America, and love. The Ballad of Black Tom is covering gods as characters, and that's a bit of wishful thinking on my part, but we'll find out. A book that is social justice oriented and a horror. Ballad of Black Tom is also covering three readathons for the Black Aween-a-thon thriller, mystery, historical fiction, and I will also be reading it for something in the Spooktober readathon, and I don't know how to talk about that one yet, so we're just gonna leave it on the back burner, and that is a problem for future me in about five minutes. Next up, for speculative fiction, I will be reading An Unkindness of Ghosts. This is science fiction dealing very much with race and prejudice and classism and race and I am nervous. I think it's gonna be really intense, but I'm also really excited. I'm getting my science fiction in. That will be covering Disability Rep, and it is a story not set on Earth. Am I reading this one for any other readathons? No? Good. Moving on. The group book is The Jumbie. It's one that I've heard about in the last couple of months, but it sounds really cool. This is a middle grade story uh, focusing on non-European, North American-centric mythology. All right, for Black Aweenathon, first book up is The Deep by River Solomon. This book is to cover a book with a Black queer, trans, and or non-binary character, as well as Black sirens or mermaids. I guess I should have mentioned. The Jumbies is also covering two prompts for Black Aweenathon. That is a Black fantasy and a story with Black witches. And the last one I will be reading, this is a bit of a weird one. <laughs> I am reading a short story that is available for free online and is part of the master document of short stories uh, presented by Noria for the Speculative Fiction Readathon. So like you, there's all these 
short stories available totally for free so you can have an easy time filling the prompts. I'm not reading it for speculative fiction, I'm reading it for Black Aweenathon. That story is Fallen Angel DLL by Brandon O'Brien. I don't know anything about this, but I believe it will include the topic of intersectionality. Now, moving on to the one that's a little complicated to talk about, which is this booktober readathon. So basically, the idea is while we are all locked away, uh, we can't obviously gather for Halloween parties. So this is a virtual figurative imaginary Halloween party and you can read for as many or as few of the prompts as you want to. There are different areas of the party like the dance floor or the costumes or the snack table. Each section has different prompts and you just sort of read whatever you're into. I selected one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine prompts because I really hate myself. Most of these are combined so it's it's not that bad. The first book up I have is The Only good Indians. I'm scared and I'm so excited I can't even contain myself. I could try and describe to you what it's about. I'd rather just go go read it right now. I'll leave some phone voices reviews of this in the description. It sounds so good. That will be covering my Halloween costume. I picked a scary costume because they didn't have the costume that would actually represent who I was in high school, which is a sexy Halloween costume. I'm not exaggerating. I absolutely was one of those people who would wear animal ears and lingerie and call it a costume. That is to cover a snack table treat, which is Devil's Food Cake, a book with a black cover. One of the party activities, which is hanging out with the pets, an animal on the cover. And a dance floor song, which is Monster Mash, a book with a monster. Next up, we have a book that has been on my TBR for way too long, Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse. The prompts that this is filling is a dance song, which is the time warp, book set in a different time, and an activity, which is carving jack-o'-lanterns, which is a book with a face on the cover, and a snack table treat, which is the punch bowl, a book with a character who fights. Next up is another snack table treat, and that is a candy bowl, which is to take a small piece and read either a novella or graphic novel. I have selected two comics for this. The first is A Girl Called Echo, which I had never heard of before, but sounds very interesting, and Teen Titans Raven. Lastly, the reason that I am pushing myself to film this video right now, even though I am clearly not together in any capacity. Final prompt, which is another activity, is trick or treat. For this one, I have to flip a coin between a book I think I will love and a book I think I will hate. Books that I have available to me are The Ballad of Black Tom and Blanche on the Lamb. I'll be reading one of these no matter what, and that's the one that I know I'll love. Or I might be reading both books. Do I have a coin? I did not for this. Do I have a coin? Nope. I don't have a coin easily grabbed, but I've got, I've got my dice. Let's say odd will be, I only have to read the book that I think I'll love. That's a 15. Of course. I would apologize, but this is just the way that I am. Thank you very much for being here, going through this with me. I'm gonna go now. Thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.